My name is Steven Aguilar Bues, conductor with Inside the Orchestra, and I'm here to talk about opera conducting. So what makes conducting opera different than conducting, say, a symphony with only orchestral musicians? First, we have to answer the question, what is opera? Opera is basically a story that is sung. If you've ever heard Figaro, 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 then you've heard opera. In opera, we have many different components coming together, such as opera singers, the opera chorus, the orchestra, the set, costumes, lighting, wigs, makeup, props, and many more to make the story come to life. My job as an opera conductor is to weave all of the musical components together and make everyone sound great through the composer's intentions and vision of the story. The conductor's beat patterns, whether conducting operas or symphonies, remains the same. One of the most common beat patterns is the four pattern, which is used in the triumphal march from Verdi's opera Aida, and it goes like this. I'm gonna breathe up and come down. Down, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Ba 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 We also have a lot of dances or dance-like songs in three, like La Donna e Mobile from the opera Rigoletto, also by Verdi, and it goes like this. Down, right, up, down, right, up, one, two, three, one, two, three. La donna è mobile, qual più mal vento. You will also find a lot of great opera music, like the overture to Bizet's Carmen, which happens to be in two and uses the two pattern, and it goes like this. Down, up, down, up, one, two, one, two. Unlike conducting a symphony on a stage where everyone can see you, the opera conductor stands on a podium inside an orchestra pit, a space in front of the stage but lower than the audience. Even though opera conductors are generally hidden from the audience, they can mostly see everyone, with the orchestra right below them and the singers up above. The reason we're out of sight is to draw attention to the story happening on stage. Like I said before, operas are sung, stories that are sung. The conductor needs to be sensitive to the needs of the singers on the stage. Everything from balancing the right amount of volume between singers and orchestra, to being able to lead and follow singers, to inspiring different moods and colors to best tell the story are a few more responsibilities of the conductor. And now, since I don't have an orchestra or singers with me right now, here's a little clip from an Inside the Orchestra rehearsal with opera music from Puccini's Gianni Schicchi. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me in my music library. I'm Steven Aguilar Bues with Inside the Orchestra. Bye!